I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to fecal sludge management and learning about how to apply some key concepts of sustainable fecal sludge management as part of an integrated approach to citywide sanitation. Certainly by now, you already have a number of thoughts, ideas, and opinions on what important considerations for sustainable implementation of fecal sludge management are and understand how to address challenges. In this module, I will highlight some of the key learnings from the last five weeks that achieved this. The systems level approach to fecal sludge management developed in this course and the associated book should be seen as a building block for the future design and operation of functional and sustainable fecal sludge management systems. Developing solutions for fecal sludge management and solutions for citywide sanitation that include both sewered and non-sewered solutions requires tackling large, complicated issues that are all interrelated. It is necessary to understand how these fields fit together and to understand the connections and influences of each field upon the others. There have been rapid improvements and gains in knowledge, and although there is still a long way to go, these advances will continue to build upon each other and improve solutions and approaches. Some important aspects for the way forward that you learned about in this course include designing for the final end use or disposal option of treatment products to ensure treatment objectives are met and public health is protected. Designing for the actual quantity and characteristics of fecal sludge to ensure designs meet the local context. Improving on-site containment technologies, transfer stations, and emptying methodologies. A safe, efficient, and affordable collection and transport will help to ensure that fecal sludge is delivered to treatment. In developing an understanding of treatment mechanisms. This will be the basis for developing new technologies and for adapting existing ones. Incorporating management concerns from the beginning of the project planning. Link operations and maintenance to technology decisions and long-term budgets. Setting up legal and regulatory frameworks and enforcement mechanisms. Having one entity of a city government solely responsible increases a sense of responsibility that can be lost in more fragmented management models. Streamlining eliminates any responsibility overlap between stakeholders and also avoid gaps in responsibilities. Considering different models of financial transfers, different business models for sanitation services need to be considered to reduce the financial burden at the household level. Assessing and understanding the initial situation in specific contexts especially important due to the heterogeneity of urban areas in low- and middle-income countries characterized by rapid growth rates in very diverse landscapes in terms of income level, sanitation technologies, and formal and informal settlements in addition to weak enabling environments. Integrating stakeholders and understanding their interests and influence which is key for commitment to responsibilities. Applying an integrated planning approach at the city level. This is especially important in the field of fecal sludge management, as globally, experience has shown time and time again that on-site and decentralized technologies are prone to failure if not considered as a component within a larger system. For the development of sustainable fecal sludge management systems, a significant step requires first the acknowledge of its importance by stakeholders. This includes governments taking responsibility for providing fecal sludge management, development agencies providing funding structures for feasible and appropriate solutions, and large intergovernmental organizations promoting safe fecal sludge management. As this is a relatively new field, much of the existing knowledge remains with practitioners in the field without a written record, and there remains a lack of affordable and accessible references, materials, and curriculum. 
Hopefully, initiatives like this course will start to fill this gap. And after completing this course, part of the responsibility also goes to you. There is a great need for the development of appropriate technologies, even though solutions will not rely on technology alone. New technologies are based on pioneering developments in research, which points to a need for solution-oriented research to be conducted in countries where it is directly relevant. With local researchers working together with the urban governments that are responsible for fecal sludge management, so new knowledge is taken up and has an influence on policy. Due to the urgent need for technical solutions, research and implementations need to continue to be conducted in parallel, getting to scale as rapidly as possible. An example of this was provided in the Durbin case study. Creativity is essential in every aspect of fecal sludge management to continue to advance solutions that are globally transferable and applicable for the 40% of the people worldwide served by on-site sanitation technologies and the billions more that will need to be served in the decades to come. Keeping an open mind will be key to developing innovative and optimal solutions, learning from the past, but also not limiting future possibilities through biases of what has or has not worked in the past in other situations. Undoubtedly, this is a very exciting and promising time for the advancement of fecal sludge management, and the field will continue to advance with increasing acknowledgement of the importance of fecal sludge management. Along with it, we also need a new generation of practitioners, scientists, and engineers who are up for the challenge, who will be the next drivers of change in realizing integrated citywide sanitation. Hopefully that includes you. What will your next steps be following this course to make the best use of your new knowledge and skills? To apply concepts of sustainable fecal sludge management in your city? Will you use this in your job, professional development, or career? Please share your goals and ideas to the forum discussion. Thank you for joining and hope to see you again soon.